Hello, it's Miss Colleen. Welcome to my teacher closet. And it is Fun Friday. And Fun Friday means we're just going to read a book for fun. And this book was re uh, recommended to me by my friend Megan. And it is called Skippy John Jones by, Dude, by Judy, sorry, Judy uh, Shackner. I think that's how you pronounce her name. You know, I have so much trouble with names sometimes. Um, in this Skippy John Jones book, there are a lot of words that I may stumble over. So just go with me. It's pretty funny. Um, and it was written, the author wrote it because she had a cat, a Siamese cat that would get into a lot of mischief. Do you have an animal or a pet that gets into mischief? Have you ever thought about writing a story about your pet? Maybe that's something you'd like to do. I'd love to hear it if you do. Just send it to me. My email's at the end of this video. All right, Skippy John Jones. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. This did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms or flew or did his laundry in M Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. So when he woke up with the birds... They weren't just pretending. He woke up with the birds. There's Mama Junebug. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, not a grouse, or a, not a moose, or a goose, not a rat, or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. <laughs> that makes me laugh, because you know, I'm in a closet right now. It makes me wonder what's going to happen. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times I land on my head. On his way back down to earth, from the gigantic bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So he went up again and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword, he climbed into his onto his mouse. Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippy, Skippito, Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My 
Manners are mellow, I'm sweet like a jello. I get the job done, yes indeed oh. Back in the kitchen, <laughs> Jujube, Jezebel, and Julie Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Jujube. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. But is he? Is he thinking the way that she thinks he's thinking? In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the smallest ones. Who are you? I am El Skiptito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the smallest ones spoke up. Why the mosquito? <laughs> Why the mosquito, dude, said Paquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skippito. Do you like rice and beans, said Pintinto Lito. See, si, I love rice and beans, said Skippito. He might be a dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Look at all those chihuahuas. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Chupacu. <laughs> Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it's true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito. It's the end of Alfred Bazito. Scapito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bed, to the bad Bumblebeeto. Then all of the Chimichanguitos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. By looking at this picture, what is a fiesta? Yeah, a party. Then they took a siesta. And what is a siesta? A nap. But after waking up, the chimichanguitos, no, chimichangos, chimichangos, <laughs> I told you the words were tough. Chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebeeto for Scapito to see. I drew the picture. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. 
Alfredo Bazito, whispered the crowd. El Blimpo Bumblebito Bandito. <laughs> si, said Poquito Tito. The Bandito steals our frijos. Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. Si, Paquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Paquito added. Por qué? asked Skipito. Because we are full of beans, too. Then Don Diego stood tall in his most somber voice, declared, Yo quiero frijos. Huh? said Skipito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Paquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Scapito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Scapito, the great sword fighter. But poor Scapito had no time for a plan because in a blink of the eye, a giant shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamoose, Scapito or it is you the bandito will eato, they cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, my name is Scapito Fresquito. I fear not. A single bandito. But Alfred Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijos, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword in the air. Suddenly, pop, went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword. And quicker than one could say, chimichangas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfred, Alfredo Bazito, the bumblebito bandito. Look at all those beans. Then all the doggies burst into song. song. Yip, yippee, yip yo. Our hero is El Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans. And now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Bangito, Crashito, Popito, Skippito. Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Holy machalitas, he said. Oh, in a muy muy soft vo voice. Holy machachitas. <laughs> He said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with 
furry, furry, and purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I am Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. That is a fun book. It's fun to read, even though my tongue got tongue-tied. And what an imagination Skippy John Jones had. All right, that's it for today's Fun Friday story. I hope you have a great weekend. And remember that every day is a new adventure. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye from my teacher closet.